Why don't astronauts just walk around in space? Why, after all these decades of spaceflight, are we still watching them float, bump into walls, and struggle with the simplest movements? If we can put people on the moon, send rovers to Mars, and operate a permanently crewed space station orbiting Earth, surely we can solve gravity, right? Well, here's the thing. Artificial gravity isn't science fiction anymore. At least, not entirely. In fact, we've known the basic physics behind artificial gravity for over a century. The real question isn't, how do we create it? But why haven't we built it yet? Let's break this down. Artificial gravity is usually imagined as some advanced force field. You know, like in Star Trek, where people just walk around a spaceship as if they're on Earth. But in reality, we don't have anything close to that kind of technology. There's no known method to manipulate gravity directly because gravity isn't a force in the traditional sense. It's a curvature of space-time, as Einstein described it. Manipulating that would require massive amounts of energy or exotic matter, which is still theoretical. But here's the good news. We can simulate the effects of gravity using acceleration. Enter centrifugal force. 